Hi there and welcome to a new series of the online guitar making course. Uh, this time I'll be showing you how me and my students build uh, archtop guitars. Uh, contrary to the first series we will be using some electrical tools and machinery uh, but I'll be referring to the relevant uh, episodes of the first series so you can see how each job is done uh, with only hand tools. Um, we're going to start with the top but first let me tell you something about the woods we'll be using. Here's some examples of the most commonly used uh, woods for arch tops. Um, nine out of ten times uh, the um, back and sides of arch tops are made out of uh, maple. Uh, there's uh, tiger stripe maple here, this is bird's eye and this is quilted maple. Uh, each has its own uh, well uh, features of course, the aesthetically and, uh, and sound wise. Um, tiger stripe maple is the most whitish in colour and then uh, bird's eye is a bit more yellow and often a quilted maple has a sort of a pinkish hue uh, uh, to it. Um, sound wise I would say that tiger stripe maple um, is best suited for a purely acoustic arch top because uh, it sounds uh, very resonant uh, compared to the other two although I've seen great acoustic arch tops with uh, bird's eye maple. And uh, maybe if you're building a purely electric arch top, then go for uh, quilted maple because it has a very warm and uh, mellow uh, tone. And now for tops, there's um, well, several kinds of wood. These are the two most uh, uh, important ones, I think. Uh, that's uh, European spruce, which is whitish in color, has a very uh, high acoustic ceiling and very, a great dynamic range and uh, also very, very nice fundamentals but not as much as Sitka spruce which is uh, a bit more yellow in colour and has a very strong uh, fundamentals um, so if you're building a purely acoustic ice top then maybe this is your pile of wood and if maybe you want to amplify it then go for uh, these woods or if, you, if you're building a strictly uh, electric ice top. Uh, neckwise um, I would say uh, maple for electrics and mahogany uh, for acoustics, although I've seen, of course, uh, the other way around, some uh, great guitars. Uh, this, of course, the mahogany looks uh, very different from uh, the, ver the other light colours of the guitar, so if you want to uh, build an aesthetically uh, pre pleasing guitar and you don't like uh, the mahogany, then maybe go for a maple neck. And fretboards. Um, and usually the fretboard and the bridge and the tailpiece are made out of the same piece of wood or same kind of wood and I would say um, rosewood for acoustics and ebony for electrics um, again this is an aesthetic thing also so if you don't like the color or the, uh, yeah, the t color tone of one or the other then uh, switch those around in the next video we're gonna start on the top and then after that we're gonna do the back the top we do by hand and I'll show you how to use some machines uh, on the back. Uh, but for next time, uh, sharpen those planes and join us. See you next time. made a cut at uh, 25 millimeters or an inch a bit over and now I'm gonna take that off don't need that so I now only have to um, uh, true 25 millimeters w uh, width of uh, uh, top material so that makes it a lot easier than having to do 50 or 40 um, but first I'm gonna uh, true this plane and then I'm gonna true this plane perpendicular to this one so I'm gonna put this in my vice, like so, and now Let's see. Excellent. Um. Good. 
Good. So, once this uh, plane is uh, flat and true, you can concentrate on this side. Make sure that it's perpendicular to this side and make sure that it's really flat too. So, clamp it in your workbench and again, let's see. Need some work. you're happy with the first half of the top and half and then glue them together When the glue is dry, you take your top and your template and draw the outline of the guitar onto the top. Uh, it doesn't have to be very accurate at this stage because we'll be uh, leaving some room for error. Yeah, so I'll just, oops, like that. There you go, and now uh, with a bandsaw, I'm going to uh, saw this shape out, but you can use a, a, a reciprocating saw or uh, even a fret saw if you don't have uh, a bandsaw. So. Just one more thing before we start carving, and that's indicate where to stop carving. Uh, so take out a, a scribe and indicate uh, six millimeters, a bit over, or a quarter inch, uh, from the uh, side on the side of the top from the bottom, and uh, scribe a line like so. And then take out uh, your mallet and uh, gorge and planes, and uh, we start carving. Um, about the curves, uh, if you don't have any um, uh, templates, then maybe you can find an example somewhere. Uh, maybe you have another guitar that you can use for an example. Um, keep the middle where the bridge is going to be. Uh, 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 leave that alone for now and just start carving on the sides and uh, st start making the, the curves. Um, there's really not that much that you can do wrong at this stage because there's a lot of material to remove. So just, you know.
before we switch from your finger plane to uh, scraper blade or sandpaper, uh, make sure that you like the curves of the, uh, of the top. Uh, that usually means that there's no uh, straight lines, but it's all uh, curved. And the, uh, at least the lower bat, if you build a guitar with a uh, cutaway, the lower bat should be uh, symmetrical in feel, so you can, you, you, can, you can feel pretty good, or you can put a ruler on and see how symmetrical it is. Um, and then switch to uh, scraping, as I said, and uh, 120 grit uh, sandpaper. Mm -hmm.